welcome back guys today i'm going to show you how to calculate the average monthly consumption in case you are working in a hospital you're managing your clinic you're managing your store so this is the thing which will show you what to buy and the amount you need to and every month so we have two scenarios one is when the you're out of stock and then one is when your material is still. So let's give, imagine that in June, no, in January, this is Jan, you are uh, consumed 300, no, 3,000. And then in Feb, you consume 2,000. And then in March, you consume 1,900. So, in this scenario, this is stock out, stock out, zero, zero. This is zero, this is zero, this is zero. So, this one, what we are going to do is simple. We just add 3,000 plus 2,000 plus 1,900. So this is Jan, Man, Jan, Man, Feb, and then March. So then we are going to divide by three, because this is one, two, three, two. I get the average monthly consumption. This one we are going to divide by three. So if we divide, if we add 300, and this one, this one is 5,000, then 6,900. 6,900 and then we are going to divide this one by 3 so what will be our average monthly consumption we are going to get this is 2 3 4 5 6 so this is our average monthly consumption of your commodities this one is only one commodity. If it is rotaf, it is rotaf. If it is panadol, panadol. If it is uh, safe, it is safe traction. If it is, it's only for one commodity. So you will do this thing for all the commodities which you have. Now, how about if the stock is out? Let's use the very same example. So, stock is out. Jan, 300. And then stock is out in day 5. And then Feb, 200, and then stock out is zero. And then March, 190, and day six. So what we are going to do, we are going to add this one here. Add this, 3,000 uh, plus 2, plus one nine thousand but this one we are going to calculate for one day then we multiply by 30 now what we are going to do we are going to consider all these days having 30 days so these 30 days plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 is how many is 90 we are going to put 30 plus 30 this, 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 plus 30. Then we are going to minus, this is the day, the day the stock is out. We are going to minus these days. How many are they? This is 11 days, isn't it? Then we are going to multiply by 30. This is to get the one day. So, 609, 6,900 divided by 19 minus 11 time started so what what will be our thing so 90 minus 11 is how many 79 so 600 6900 divided by 79 time 30 so 6 divided by 
79 is how many then you are going to multiply by 30. So, which mean our average monthly consumption is 2,620 in a month. So, if we calculate only minus, this is we will get only per day. Then this one, if it multiply, then will bring us for one month. So, our average monthly consumption is 2,620. How about if you want to calculate the amount to be ordered? The maximum and the minimum. So the maximum is two. The maximum is four months. And the minimum is two months. What we do, we only multiply this one. Two by this and we get our minimum. Order. And then we multiply four by 2620 to get our maximum stock. That is all how we can calculate the average monthly consumption. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.